says your need to play tricks on me is your infantile way of saying you desire me. Right. Like he desires a, a cold sore, hangnail, and a festering boil on his butt. <laughs> I thought festering butt boil was your job. <laughs> Chill, you guys. Maybe Myra's right. Maybe there is something undeniable that ties us together. Oh, Romeo, you finally get it. <laughs> no, you get it again. This is Miss Gabby Way of showing his love for me. Ouch! Stop! You're killing me! Well, maybe if you stop fidgeting. Ow! 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 You're doing it all wrong! Boy, hold still! Gary! What's all the racket? It's the cry of the tender headed brat. She's got cactus fingers. <sighs> yep. I quit. No amount of money is worth this punishment. Now who's gonna braid my hair? I can do it. But you're white. Actually, I'm pink. But what's that got to do with the price of persimmons in Persia? I don't know, but I've never seen a pink lady cornrow hair before. Well, pink ladies have fingers too, and these pink babies can do anything brown fingers can do. I'll show ya. Braiding will be a snap. <laughs> in the building. Why are we still here? We're still here to seal our destinies as the new King Princess with that. National Basketball Champion, 1985. We see this on the way to math every day. What's the big deal? It's the only national trophy any Seattle middle school has ever won. How amazing would it be if it just disappeared? Romeo, snap out of it. This trophy is more important than anything in the school, including us. If it went missing, it would cause a panic. Exactly. And everyone would know there are new king pranksters in town. 
What if we get caught? Great men on the edge of adventure don't worry about getting caught. Right. They leave all that worrying for when they're in prison. You gotta relax. You can't let them see you sweat when you're reaching for the sky. Why not? Pit stains, youngin. So not cool. is more than a hairstyle. It is an expression of culture. Hmm. A show of pride and art reaches the roots of Africa. Oh yeah, I can dig it. Oh. All right. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Ouch. I think I need to connect more to the culture of the roots. Yeah. Oh! You make me feel like dancing. What you wanna do? All I wanna do is just have some fun. What you wanna do? You make me feel like dancing. What you wanna do? All I wanna do is just have some fun. You make me feel like dancing. Uh-huh. Straight for dancing. Okay. Twist and break, twist and break. This ain't so hard, I got it made in the shade. Oh. Oh. Maybe I need a live subject. Will be talking about the new King Princess when they go to school, and our grandkids, and our great grandkids, and so on, and so on. We're bound for glory, Lou Dog. Headed for greatness. Where are we logging this thing? Home? No way. That would be stealing. So what are we gonna do? Stash it on the flagpole? No, no, Romeo, no way. have to think of the worst. Lightning is not going to strike that flagpole. But what if it does? If lightning strikes that trophy, I'll kiss Buddy's butt. Mrs. Rogers? What up, sister? Right on. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Don't you know grits when you see them? Uh, Mrs. Rogers, slow down. You don't have to be black to braid black hair. It's a cultural thing. 
You don't have to be from Italy to make good lasagna, do you? I can't make lasagna. Polish sausage. You make awesome Polish sausage, and you're not Polish. I buy it from Mr. Kowalski down on Pittsview. You know his wife, Stella? She's a very small woman. She has the fattest fingers. I mean, some of them are bigger than the sausages. <sighs> okay, well, we're getting off the point. You just need to practice. That's all it takes to cornrow. Hi. I mean, okie dokie. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna have cereal. Good morning, Mrs. Rogers. What happened? Don't ask. Have cereal. Romeo, can I braid your hair today? Uh, no. My braids are already tight. Louis? Don't even think about it. Okay. day in Seattle when hey, one of the city's beloved look sports presidents school. has been ruined by vandals playing a practical joke. This is a dark day for Hendricks Middle School and for all of Seattle. We will find the vandals responsible for this tragedy. If you have any information, please come forward. Yes, come forward and turn yourself in, you coward. Because if you try and hide, I'm going to find you. My father was on a team that won this trophy and by my hand, his honor shall be avenged! Ugh. Row. Pucker up. Hey, what's she doing? She's dusting the glass for fingerprints. We are so busted. Chill. I've got an idea. Hey, Myra, I never knew you had math detective skills. There's a lot you don't know about me, Romeo. A girl has to be a little mysterious. Uh, yeah. You find anything yet? I found the perfect fingerprints. It's like an investigator's dream. Fingerprints? Really? Where? Oh, these right here? <laughs> Romeo, don't! What'd I do? What'd I do? You contaminated the evidence. It's ruined! That wasn't the only evidence you found, was it? It was, thank you very much. That's too bad. <sighs> so I guess the investigation is over. I don't have anything else. Sorry. See ya. Hey, would you mind taking a break from your pasta braiding career and make me some lunch, please? Would you mind a bowl of spaghetti? Is that, uh, braided spaghetti? Yeah. It's no use anyway. I need a real head to practice on, and the kids are too busy or too afraid to let me work on them. That's a shame. Wait a minute. Hey, you can help. I can practice on you. I can't. Why not? I got this thing. What thing? It's a lunch thing with one of my friends. I mean, it's a thing that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a man thing, you know. What? How come you ask me to make lunch if you have a lunch man thing? Okay, you got me. Look, I have to teach Gary a very important lesson, and I'm not going to succeed unless I have a human head. And you won't mind. Well, it's the only one around here right now, so let's get busy. What's so important that he couldn't wait until I was done watching a cheerleader stretch? That. What the? CSI Myra strikes again. Myra, what are you doing? Collecting physical evidence. I told you I won't be stopped. But, Myra. <laughs> I even found some footprints and made plaster casts of them. Myra! Swiss, sweet, swiss, sweet, sweet, sweetie. <gasps> this is the greatest day of my life. 
Not only have I collected more than enough evidence to convict the vandal who destroyed my daddy's legacy, but now my one and only love has finally given into my web of attraction and called me, sweetie, kiss me, you fool. Just pretend his buddy's butt. Just pretend his buddy's butt. Just pretend his buddy's butt. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, I'm out of here. No, I think I understand what I did wrong. No, I know what I did wrong. I should have never let you use me as a hair test dummy. Stop. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Oh. You might as well give up. These thighs have spent years flipping acrobats in the air like flapjacks. I can crack walnuts with my knees. I've crushed kegs with these calves. Well, too bad they can't braid hair. Okay, trust me. This time, I'll be gentle and accurate. Okay? What did I get myself into? Have you lost your mind, Ro? Have you given up all hope? Yes. She says she has the evidence. I'm desperate. If I give it, maybe she'll go easy on us. Romeo, you can't do that. You just can't. Oh, yes, he can. And he must. Unless he wants to spend the rest of his school life in detention. Myra! <laughs> Got it all figured out. The fingerprints Romeo left on the display case while trying to derail my investigation perfectly matched the fingerprints on the flagpole. And the plaster cast of the footprints at the base of the flagpole are an exact match to the footprints Romeo left on a piece of paper after tying my shoelaces together. So you see, I've got physical evidence I need to convict you, Romeo, and we all know physical evidence doesn't lie. But teenage heartbreakers do. Be mine or be busted. Never. I'm the only person that knows. If you were my boyfriend, the principal couldn't make me testify against you. OK, you win. I'm your boy. I'm your boy, you're your. I'm yours. Bro, no. Lou, I did this all by myself. So I had to sacrifice myself to stay out of trouble. My room. Yes, you're all mine, Big Daddy. looks good. You sound surprised. Trust me, I am. No, no, you're not putting that hat on. I spent all afternoon braiding that hair. You are going to show it off. I? All right, Mrs. Rogers, you got a perm. Thank you. Hi, Dad. Hi, Gary. Guess who braided my hair? Guess. Mrs. Rogers did it, and it didn't hurt a bit. All right, she going to braid your hair from now on, OK? You go around back. I'll head him off at the pass. Hi, boyfriend. You're my boyfriend, and boyfriends hold hands with their girlfriends. Not this boy, yo, yo, yo. Boyfriend. Say it. Say it, Romeo. Say boyfriend. Say it. Say boyfriend. Nope. No way! No how! That was the deal, Romeo. You're my boyfriend, and I don't turn you in. With an emphasis on the, you're my boyfriend! Apart. You know what? I don't care! Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn myself in. I'll write you every day while you're in detention! <laughs> I told you, the color of a person's skin has nothing to do with what they can achieve. You're right. Anybody can do anything. Hey, 
Look at my hair. Mrs. Rogers did it. Hey, Dad, look at my hair. Nice job, Mrs. Rogers. I told you I was down. <laughs> Ow. I think we're having pizza for dinner tonight. doing here? Confessing? What? Why? I'm trying to get you out of the clutches of Myra. You'll do that for me? Of course. You're my bro. And you're my dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I hate to break up this touching and heartfelt bro-to-dog moment, but which one of you really took the trophy? We both did. We didn't mean to ruin the trophy. We just wanted to be the new king pranksters. Yes. Well, the old king prankster was a bit more successful. He didn't ruin his principal's car. Although I did have some problems getting it on the roof. You? Huh? What? Nothing. But did you graduate from the school, Principal Huxley? Well, uh, yes, I did. Did they have cars back then? Yes, they had cars and trains and extremely long detentions. All right, one month's detention for both of you. And give up the pranks. Believe me, you'll never top the king. Now get out of here. Thanks. <laughs> Definitely said I. Could have been a slip of the tongue. No, I think he did it. I think someone stole our bikes. Could this take it any worse? How did? <coughs> okay, you're still the king. Until next year. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Hey, Ro, how are we gonna get home? Oh, oh, M E O. Oh, oh, M E O. What's my name? Oh, oh.